Kelsey and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today is going to be a DIY video yay! and it is going to be on witchy DIYs. Um, I've been super excited to do this video and it took me a while to get it all together so I really hope that you guys like it because I wanted it to be perfect for you guys and let's get started. Okay guys, so for the mason jar cauldron candle, we're going to be needing a small mason jar, some chalk black paint, some wire that's pretty thick, a paintbrush, some water, a essential oil dropper, a candle wick, some pliers to bend our wire with, and a multi-tool, some dried lavender buds, and something to hold your candle wick with. This can be a paper clip as well. Some clary sage essential oil, some lemon, and some French lavender. And some three pieces of small wood. I just took a yardstick and cut them into three small pieces. So now we're going to just open up the jar and we're going to take our wire and wrap it around the mason jar and making sure that it's nice and tight so it can stay on. And I just cut it to the form that I like and now I'm just going to take a little bit more with my multi-tool and bend it so this can be my handle. And I'm going to make small little hoops with my wire pliers. And now that we have our small little hoops, I'm going to be bending it into the shape of the handle and I'm going to be putting it on the wire that we shaped for the mason jar and put it right on into each side with each hoop. And that's going to be our handle. So I'm going to put the handle aside and I'm going to get my three little pieces of wood that I cut up. And we're going to super glue them to the bottom of our mason jar. And we're going to make sure that they are nice and dried so they don't fall off. And now we're going to start painting the mason jar. And I just usually like to start from the bottom so we can paint from the bottom up. And after this, I would just let it dry. So once it's dry, we're going to be putting our handle on and we're going to make it nice and tight around it once again. And I'm going to take the two ends and twist them so they're nice and tight. Doing this makes it nice and tight against the cauldron. And I'm going to take my multi-tool and cut off that excess wire. And then I'm going to bend the end pieces in so it's not sharp. Okay, so I put my melted wax inside of the jar and now I'm going to take my candle wick and put it on my holder and let it set in the wax. And we're going to need our water for our essential oils. Okay, so we're going to be using clary sage. 
And I did about seven drops of clary sage. And now we're just going to use some lemon. So I did about four drops of lemon. And I'm going to put some lavender in there. Just a couple pinches. And I put about five drops of French lavender in there as well. And I'm going to let it dry and then take off my holder and cut the wick pretty short so the flame doesn't get uncontrollable. But first, before we do that, we're going to put a couple more pinches on the top for lavender just because I love the smell of lavender. <laughs> and there we go. We're going to cut the wick super short so the flame doesn't become uncontrolled and it also lets the candle last longer. And there we have it. We have our cauldron. Okay, and so our mason jar floating candle, we are going to need a small mason jar, a tea light, a lemon, some cinnamon sticks, some lavender, some thyme, some rosemary, some fresh rosemary, and some fresh mint. And a knife to cut our lemon. And now we're going to do about three pieces of our lemon. And I'm going to put two pieces of lemon in the bottom of the mason jar and save the last one for the top. And now we're going to be using some dried thyme, just a pinch. And then we're going to do some lavender, and I like to do two pinches of that. And then we have our dried rosemary, and we're gonna do a pinch of that. And our fresh rosemary. And then our fresh mint. And I'm gonna take one cinnamon stick and cut it in half and put it in there. And then I put the lemon on top. And then we're just gonna get some hot water and pour it in there. And we're gonna cap it and then shake it very well. And now we just uncap it so we can put the tea light in there. And we just set it right on top of that lemon. That's why I like to put the lemon on top. And we're gonna light it, and there's our floating candle. Okay guys, so for our seashell candle, we are going to need some wax, a candle wick holder, this can be a paper clip, a candle wick, and a deep seashell. And we're going to use some True Rose, some French Lavender, and some Jasmine. And I'm going to use some dried lavender. And we're going to need an essential oil dropper and some water. So before I put my melted wax in, I'm going to put my candle wick in the seashell. And now I put the melted wax in and set it up so the wax doesn't spill out of the seashell. And we're going to be putting our stench oils in. I'm going to be doing two rows first. So I did about four drops of True Rose. And now I'm just going to rinse my essential oil dropper. And now we're going to use French Lavender. So I did about three drops of French Lavender. And I'm going to rinse my dropper. And now we're going to use Jasmine.
and I did about three drops of jasmine. And I'm gonna rinse my dropper again. And now I'm gonna be putting my dried lavender in there. And I'm just not really doing anything specific. I'm just kind of sprinkling it wherever I think it looks nice. And now you just let the wax dry and you cut the wick. And there we have it. We have our seashell candle. Okay you guys, and that is it. Um, the DIYs are super simple, super easy. People that are interested in Wicca and witchery, um, they can can use them apart and put them on their altar. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys really liked the video and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Love you.